friends. I'm so glad you could come back and join us again. I'm here helping my friends get ready to leave school. We have to pack their backpacks. Oh, and look, you both have bears. I see that you have a small bear. He can fit in your backpack. <laughs> and your bear is much bigger. I think you're gonna have to carry him. That reminds me of a great story about bears in different sizes. Why don't we go back to the tree house and read it, okay? It's the Bee Bear Book Club. Come and take a look. It's the Bee Bear Book Club. Let's all read a book. It's the Bee Bear Book Club. Come and take a look. It's the Bee Bear Book Club. Let's all read a book. We can read along. We can sing some songs. We can learn and play today. It's the Bee Bear Book Club. Let's all read a book. It's the Bee Bear Book Club. Let's all have some fun. It's the Bee Bear Book Club. Welcome everyone. Hi friends. Look at these bears. Small medium, large, and that one's extra large over there. I know a great story that talks about sizes. It's called Small, Medium, Large. Let's go take a look. Small, Medium, Large, a book about relative sizes by Emily Jenkins. Illustrated by Tomek Bakaki. This one is small. This one is medium. This one is large. And this one is extra large. This one is huge. And this one is enormous. This one is simply colossal. There's not even enough room for it. Now let's go back. This small one is the same size as this small one. And this one is tiny. This one is teeny, which is short for teeny weeny. This one is miniature. This one is minuscule. And this little one is smaller than teeny weeny, miniature, or minuscule. So small, you might not even notice it. It's itty bitty. These two small ones on top of each other are the same as a large. Now let's add our tiny, teeny weeny, miniature, minuscule, itty bitty. That's the same height as our huge. Put our extra large on top of all those guys and you get enormous. Then add that large you haven't used yet plus that huge you didn't use yet and the medium you completely forgot about. Finally, what have we got now? Colossal. Huge, enormous, and colossal. What great words. So today, before you guys came in, we were reading a book about the word colossal. Do you guys know what that word means? Gigantic. Gigantic. What's another word that's like colossal? Very big. Very big. I can think of another word that's like colossal. Huge. Yeah. I'm wondering, how big is this bear? Big. Big. Colossal. Colossal. I think it's pretty colossal. But I see you have a bear over there. That bear looks very small. Tiny. What's, tiny is another word for small. Now friends, can we think of something else that is colossal? 
An elephant? An elephant. That's right. Or that curtain. Or that curtain. Friends, you might want to think about something that's colossal. Give it a try. Some animals are small and some are humongous. Let's take a look. Here's an ant. He's tiny. Hello, ant. This is a mouse. He's minuscule. This is a guinea pig. He's pint-sized, which means small. And Here's a cat. Meow, cat. This is a pig. He's a substantial size. Oink, oink, pig. Do you know what this is? That's right. It's a dog. Roar! That's a lion. He's huge. Can you roar like a lion? This is a horse. Can you neigh like a horse? Here's an animal you don't see every day. It's a hippopotamus. Let's say it together. Hippopotamus. Now meet the largest animal in the world. It's an elephant. A beautiful elephant. Hi, friends. I was in the treehouse, and I just found this box with my friends. We're really curious to see what's inside. Let's take a look. Another box. Another box. I wonder if there's something inside of that. Another box. Another box. It's like a magical box in a box. Another box. Wow. I have an idea. interesting about these boxes. Some of the boxes are bigger than other boxes. We have a small box, a bigger box, an even bigger box, and a large box. It's pretty neat. Can you think of something in your house that's small and large? Maybe you can stack on top of each other? Give it a try. Bye. This jar has three pieces of candy inside. It is a smaller jar because it has less candy inside. This jar has 10 pieces of candy inside. It is a bigger jar because it has more candy inside. Hi friends! We're talking about small, medium and large things today and I have small, medium, and large jugs on my table. You know what's interesting? Some smaller things can fit inside of medium things and some medium things can fit inside of large things. We're going to try and see what happens. Why don't we try this one and pour it into this medium thing. I see a little bit of water, but we still have a lot more space. Why don't we try pouring another one in and seeing what happens with that? Hmm. I now have two medium jugs, and they both have water in them. And I have this big jug, and it's empty. I wonder, do we think that all of this water can fit into this big jug? Let's take a look. First, I'm going to pour this medium one in. Hmm. I think we have a little bit more space left. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> All right, you're going to help me pour this okay. medium one in. All right, I'm going to lift it up really big. That's okay. Sometimes they spill a little bit. It's still going. Will it fill the whole thing? That is a good question. I don't think it will. It didn't. We have 
a lot of room left. Isn't that interesting how our two small things fit into our medium thing and then our two medium things fit into our big thing? You might want to try something at home. Think about if you have an empty orange juice carton or a milk carton. Maybe you can fill them with water and pour them inside of each other and see what happens. Yeah. You might want to do it in a sink or a bathtub so it doesn't spill everywhere. Give it a try and see what happens. Bye, friends. Bye. Friends, we were talking about size today. So how about we sing a song about different sizes? Yeah. yeah. OK, so we'll do a song called The Tall, Small Song. So first, we're going to stretch up tall like this. Ready? I'm very, very tall. I'm very, very small. We'll get tall again. Tall, small. Now I'm a little ball. And we get as small as we can like a ball. Now let's grow even taller, just a little bit more. I'm very, very tall. Good. I'm very, very small. Tall, small. Now I'm a little ball. And I see you growing taller. Let's stand up and get tall. I'm very, very tall. Good. I'm very, very small. Tall, small. Now I'm a little ball. Now let's use the word medium, which is sort of in between tall and small. So we'll do our arms sticking out for medium, OK? I'm very, very medium. I'm very, very small. Medium, small. Now I'm a little ball. Then we'll get as tall as we can the last time. Ready? I'm very, very tall. I'm very, very small. Tall. Small. Now I'll try to trick you. Ready? Here we go. Tall. Small. Tall, 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 Medium. Tall. Small. And let's hop. Ready? Tall, small, tall, small, tall, small, tall, small, tall, small, tall, small, tall, small. Now I'm a little ball. And let's clap. You did such a good job. Let's all have some fun. It's the 